Okay, start the timer now. Uh, so I'm going to use my uh, five minutes to talk about uh, four major achievements of the consultation services program from the last five years. Um, achievement one is the creation of a simple and scalable system for delivering consultation services. And I'm just going to describe that system very briefly to you now, which is that we uh, have a, a simple way of people requesting uh, services. We have an online form to do so. Those requests are triaged by our central staff to the appropriate consultant. Uh, the consultant and the client meet, uh, and their initial meeting is free for the client. Uh, and their, their advice is provided, statistical analysis plan uh, may be uh, created, uh, and other products, et cetera, and, or referrals. And then ongoing consultation after that is billable. Uh, and, and many things, including statistical analysis services, data management programming, data extraction services, et cetera, can be provided at those uh, ongoing uh, consultations. Uh, this is our um, consultation request page that shows the menu of our services. I don't know if you can read these very well, but uh, the list is fairly long and growing of the types of consultation that we provide, including general services as well as uh, sort of specialty area services that we have expertise in. Uh, and the form is, is quite simple with uh, pressing one of those buttons gets you to a little form that, that submits the online request to us. Um, and I just want to point out here that <clears throat> although this is a simple uh, menu, the back end is quite complicated. For example, uh, requests can go to um, any one of those four uh, top units, which are internal CS consultation units. Uh, the, the green ones are units that are actually run by different CTSI programs, Global Health, RKS, etc. Uh, and this one, radiology, is actually external to uh, CTSI as well. So we support a variety of different kinds of, of services. And, and this is a, it's a pretty complex back end. There's a lot of people involved, co consultants, unit heads, etc. Uh, there's a lot of data flowing both directions. There are financial issues with recharge being uh, collected by us and given to other programs, et cetera, and different incentives for different consultants. We manage this complex back end. This is one of our main products, and, but we present a very simple front end for clients with a one-stop shop, a very clear menu of services, universal recharge rates, and a single invoicing mechanism. And uh, the proof is in the pudding here. We have, just in our last year, uh, six new types of consultation services now supported with three new units on board and three new niche areas in our design unit. And we are open for business. So if you want to provide consultation, please talk to me. Um, and we have 35 new consultants, and that number is growing all the time. Uh, achievement number two is uh, lots of services provided to lots of researchers. So we have a big menu, but we also have lots of people who are using this service. Over 2,400 individual researchers, the vast majority of whom are, are UCSF faculty members, are coming to us for services, many more than once for more than one project, and we're providing lots of hours, many of which are free. And actually, the majority of which are actually billable. So people are paying for this because it's a valuable service. Achievement number three is satisfied customers. Uh, so we have, uh, if you focus on the bottom line there, that's the overall quality of service. We're rating in the sort of mid to high fours in a scale of one to five here. And our last achievement is um, career development for our consultants, of whom there are many, as I showed. Uh, and we provide a, a variety of, of support for our consultants in terms of career development, in ter in, including formal evaluation summaries and letters of support that can be included in promotion and advancement packets. We have an annual consultant symposium that we provide for networking and for providing feedback about the program. We have formal support for methodology work. We're expanding that. Uh, and we have Consultants of the Year awards. And I'm going to end with this slide, which shows a list of our Consultants of the Year for the last two years. And that's it. Great. Great. Thanks, Mark. That yeah. Impressive. Um, all right. So. Uh, I'll start, Sam, you're looking at me, so you want to uh, get us started? Sure. Uh, great job, Mark. Uh, I'd work on the singing a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, otherwise, great job. I, I was wondering, um, is there any uh, 
any service with any regularity that people contact you that you are currently unable to provide, meaning is there an obvious hole in your menu that you would hope to try to fill in this next next cycle of the grant? It's a, it's a great question, and um, uh, we are not at the moment, actually, but we're on the lookout for those areas. And in fact, we're planning a needs assessment this year, a systematic needs assessment where we find things that we don't currently provide but could provide, and we're going to try to add those services. Talmadge? My question was, how are the consultants vetted? I mean, you have a lot of them, and how do you know? That is a great question, actually, and, and, and we don't have a systematic system uh, in place for that at the moment. Um, we, it's sort of word of mouth and referral, and we have unit heads who, actually, that's the main way we do it, is we have a head of each unit, and those people find, are, are basically choose the people that will provide consultation within their unit. So we trust the unit heads, and we hope that they'll make good decisions. And then we evaluate them, and we see how well they do in terms of um, you know, customer satisfaction. David? Well, following the IDOL model, uh, I think we ought to give you a lot of credit by saying thanks to Clay and to Deborah. So let's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think this is very exciting. The idea of seeing uh, a website that's actually usable is, is just a real treat. <laughs> and, um, and it's an amazing array of services uh, that you have. And the satisfaction certainly is uh, very impressive. What are some areas that you've gotten some hints on that, you know, now that you're renewed, that's uh, you're sure to add? Yeah. Well, we, we have lots of plans for the renewal. Uh, one of them being that our uh, response rates to our valuation are not that high. So there's probably some bias there, and maybe satisfaction isn't ha as high as we really think it is. So we're no, trying no, to improve that. No, no. Don't worry about that okay. today. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we're going to improve our intake system so our forms are easy to use and easier to use, than they, even easier than they are now, and also allow us to collect better data about, about the people that come in. Uh, we're trying to expand our services. We're trying to do this needs assessment to see what we're missing, et cetera. Where do we go? And, oh, sorry. Yeah, we have a, a plans for a national consulting network as well. So over the next five years, we're planning to, uh, we, ha we have three partners already identified that we're going to start with a pilot and, and just see how it works to provide consultation across institutions. Very good. Great. Good. We have time for a question or a comment from the from back here? No? Okay, great. Well, thank you, Mark. That thank was you. great. Well, thanks. All right, good. That sets the right tone and pace for the rest of the afternoon. It's going to be fast, but we got a lot of programs and they've got a lot of achievements, so we've got to work hard to, 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 to fit them in.